So hello uh, YouTubers. So what I did is uh, I started experimenting and I put uh, electrical tape, just plain electrical tape on the third rail on one of the grounds. As you can see, I hope you can see. So between the clamp and the track And, um, well, this is the result. This is the DC locomotive. As you can see, this is two poles. I have two poles hooked up. The green one it was, uh, it's from a switch wire. It's the only thing I could find. So this is on the DC side. And hooked up to the two outer rails. Which one is now, one is insulated. So... So that is one, and then when I change it, so I'll take this one out, the AC is still hooked up, the Marks one, I'll hook the track back up, give me a minute here, there, put the Marks on, so this is now connected. This is now connected to the AC. I guess I better plug it in if I want some power here. There. So now it's connected to the AC. The DC is off. As you can see, I'm doing here. Uh, this is so. This is actually what I'm doing. Sorry, I forgot that. So I'm kind of bending them open very carefully. I just glue a piece of tape on the bottom of the track where it's uh, like here and here and here where it's ribbed because that's where it sits in the in the ties and I just put tape on it fold it over and clamp it in if it's sticking too much out I'll cut it later I can do that inside I would like to uh, start doing this sheet today so I might not even do it all the way because it's just going to be screw nailed so here we go the marks over the same piece of track so I have to go back to zero and of course it stops here I guess it's just to show you that uh, all it does work. Oh, it's gonna derail. <laughs> it does work, and uh, so I'm gonna continue doing uh, three tapes per uh, per rail because there's three uh, there's three uh, how do you call those things? Three uh, clamps per rail. And then uh, later on, uh, I found out the paint sticks from Home Depot are the same uh, are the same thickness. So I'm just going to cut paint sticks on size and put them all in. And uh, I'll dunk them in a pail with brown uh, acrylic paint. Let them sit overnight or two nights that they're nice and brown. And then uh, I'll paint the steel ones brown so it looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, so I think I found a solution. And... Um, well, I stay open for other suggestions. Uh, I don't have the, um, the toggle switch and uh, the bridge rectifier handy. I have it downstairs somewhere. But that is, to me, not so important right, right now. But that will be hooked up to this one. with, uh, Like I said, with the double, throw, double pole, double throw switch and a bridge rectifier. So the marks, or this is a marks, I think. Yeah. Or the Lionel transformer will take care of it all with the switch. So it's either going to be uh, the middle one, the power and the two grounds or um, the two outsides for the DC by the same transformer and I will uh, make a little wire to the uh, to the other uh, ground for AC that it's easier because once I toggle the switch it will be uh, revert, reversed into DC 
the only thing I got to do because I insulate it completely I got to make a contact somewhere probably here to uh, wire this back up for the AC and the DC okay I thank you for your attention and uh, I'll keep you posted